Guns and cameras, One Nation's used both to political advantage before, but it would never have reckoned on this. I reckon you can do that for $2 million. If you went 20, you would own the lower house and upper house. James Ashby and Steve Dixon want millions of dollars to shake up Australia's firearms laws and turn to America's powerful lobby, the NRA, to bankroll it. They threw $10 million at us. Mm. We can win a heap of seats, plush divided seats in the Senate. Their plotting was exposed in an elaborately planned Al Jazeera documentary, the TV network first setting up a fake gun rights group. Hey guys, Roger Muller here from Gun Rights Australia. Then setting up meetings and secretly filming them. The ingredients are there, we just don't have the petrol. Whatever you can do would be fantastic. The pitch, also made to wealthy conservative donors Coke Industries, relied on One Nation gaining the balance of power and changing Australia's gun laws, despite the party's policy stating it had uphold them. We get the balance of power. Very simply, that means we have the testicles of the government in our hand at every given stage. You know, guns in the scheme of things, it's not going to be with the end all. But they insist no money was ever received. It's Senator Hanson wasn't on the trip. Her clandestine chief of staff worried he could be caught out. If he gets out, <laughs> and rock the boat. Senator Hanson. Two months later, Pauline Hanson voted for a bill in the Senate that led to foreign donations to political parties being banned. So I believe foreign donations should be stopped. Having been stung, One Nation is now claiming to be the victim of a James Bond-style plot to infiltrate the party. It's calling on ASIO and the federal police to prove it was duped by the Qatari-owned broadcaster. This is skullduggery at its worst. This is the very first time Australia has witnessed political interference from a foreign government. And the talk of interest in 10 or 20 million dollars? We'd arrived in America, we'd got on the source, we'd had a few drinks. In pre-election positioning, rival parties are making sure the hangover's a prolonged one. No law should be up to the highest bidder as some part of foreign interference. What more? Does Mr Morrison need to show some spine and put one nation last? Trapped in their self-described James Bond movie, the central characters are shaken, stirred. They may make a movie about this in sometime in the future. And demanding all scenes be released. Melissa Clark, ABC News, Canberra.